UFC 303 Perea vs. Prohaska 2, originally scheduled to feature the return of Conor McGregor against Michael Chandler, took place on June 29th in front of a sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. The event brought in nearly $16 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention pay-per-view revenue in the tens of millions, sponsorships, and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? The Nevada State Athletic Commission does not disclose fighter pay information, so while Venom sponsorship and fight bonuses are released, the purses I'll be showing in this video are just projections based on previously disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Kicking off the main card, Ian Machado Gary scored a takedown early in his welterweight bout against Michael Venom Page and had him in big trouble on the ground, threatening a rear naked choke. Page managed to survive and kept it on the feet in the second, landing several damaging blows. But in the third, Gary was again able to control Page with his grappling and did enough for the judges to give him the unanimous decision win. Page earned $125,000 to show and $4,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, and took home $129,000. While Gary made $60,000 to show and $60,000 for the win, $6,000 in sponsorship, and a total of $126,000. In the second fight, Maíra Bueno Silva and Macy Chasson let the fist fly in a high-volume start to their bantamweight fight. Midway through the second round, Chasson secured top position on the ground and landed an elbow that opened up a massive cut on the forehead of Silva. So much so that the ringside doctor ended up calling the fight with immediate protests from Silva. The doctor's stoppage resulted in a TKO victory for Macy Chasson. Silva brought in $56,000 to show and $11,000 in sponsorship for $67,000 on the night. While Chasson earned $62,000 to show and another $62,000 for the win, a $50,000 performance of the night bonus, along with $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, for a total of $185,000. The third fight saw light heavyweight Anthony Smith and Roman Delizze trade kicks and use most of the first round to feel out each other's timing. The action picked up a bit in the second when a stumble by Smith resulted in Delizze controlling from the top where he rode out the majority of the round. The fight continued to go Delizze's way in the final frame and he would go on to take the unanimous decision. Prior to the fight, Smith spoke about other fighters' comments on his hefty pay rate. You know, I'm, I'm the veteran, I'm the gatekeeper, like whatever those guys say, well, why does Anthony get paid so much? And why does he get this opportunity? And why does he do this? Because I'm willing to do this shit that you guys won't do. Do people actually bring up like your pay? Like you said, like why is Anthony getting Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like fellow fighters Yeah, we that? hear that shit in the back all the time. Like fellow fighters say Oh yeah, that? oh yeah. Lionheart earned $220,000 to show and the maximum non-championship $21,000 in sponsorship pay for a total of $241,000 not including any short notice bonus he may have negotiated. I won't be including any of these in the totals, but considering that nearly the entire main card was shuffled, many of the fighters surely would have increased their take-home pay significantly. And the winner, Roman Delizze, brought home $60,000 to show and another $60,000 for the win, $6,000 in sponsorship pay, and a total of $126,000. On a card that was littered with late replacements and short notice fights, just hours prior, it was announced that Brian Ortega was out of his co main event with Diego Lopez. Instead, Dan Ige would be stepping in on zero days' notice for a catchweight bout. The fight itself started fast, with Lopez charging in, sparking wild exchanges, and the first round ended with a near submission finish. It was more of the same in the second, with Lopez again ending up on Ige's back, threatening with submissions. He began to fade in the final round, however, as Ige's shots started to find a home. Despite the fatigue, Diego survived until the closing bell and went on to take the unanimous decision victory. Ige took home $105,000 to show, and while he technically didn't win the fight, we've seen times where fighters take their win money as well, and in my opinion this was certainly one of those occasions. At the press conference, Dana White alluded that neither fighter really lost, and immediately after the fight, Ige confirmed that he quote, got paid. While it's just a guess, I'd bet Dan got his $105,000 win bonus as well. That along with $16,000 in sponsorship for an estimated $226,000 on the night. And as stated previously, this is not including 
including any sort of additional short notice bonus he may have earned. So whether he got his win bonus or a locker room bonus, he certainly would have received a significant bump for taking the fight on just a few hours notice. Meanwhile, the winner Diego Lopez made $53,000 to show and $53 for the win, along with $4,500 in sponsorship and a total of $110,500. Diego posted on his ex account that he was given the option to get paid without fighting, but chose to fight anyway. He accepted switching weight classes and opponents last minute, so there's no way Dana didn't throw him an extra check, totaling much more than I'm estimating here. And finally, the main event of the evening, Alex Perea defended his light heavyweight belt against Yuri Prohaska in devastating fashion. Early in the fight, Perea peppered Prohaska with calf kicks and dropped Yuri with a left hand at the end of round one. As the two men met in the center to start the second, almost immediately Perea landed a flush left head kick that dropped Prohaska for a second time and followed it up with hard shots on the ground to take the knockout victory. Prohaska received $500,000 guaranteed, the challenger's rate of $32,000 in Venom spot sponsorship, and while Yuri is not the champion and therefore not guaranteed pay-per-view points, I suspect as headliner and former champ, he did receive a cut. While we can only speculate on his rate, I used a formula based on Eddie Alvarez and Ronda Rousey's publicly released information from 2016 and updated it to account for new benchmarks and pay-per-view price increases to create a ballpark estimate. At that standard rate, and assuming 600,000 buys, his pay-per-view cut falls somewhere in the range of 675 to 825,000, which takes his total to a around 1.3 million. And still, the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion Alex Perea took home $650,000 guaranteed, $42,000 in sponsorship, and a well-deserved $50,000 performance of the night bonus, and $1 to $1.25 million for his champion's cut of the pay-per-view revenue, landing Poetan in the neighborhood of $1.9 million. Although with a bump in pay for saving the card on short notice, he almost surely would have been pushed over the $2 million mark. That's all for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in two weeks for UFC Fight Night, Nama Yunez vs. Cortez.